Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Morana, and I welcome you back to uh, FTL, Faster Than Light. In last episode, um, well, it turned out to be like three quarters of an hour. So um, instead of making a super long episode, I decided to cut it there. So we'll now continue where we left off. Um, I have just bought crew members. I if I remember correctly, Jose, no, Jose is already a part of my crew for a while. Um, it's, it's been like two days since I played this game, so it's not that fresh anymore. So I can't remember exactly what happened. It doesn't matter, we're just gonna continue and we'll see. Hmm. I look at my inventory right now, I see I have not enough money to upgrade or do anything, so I'll just jump. Ah, right, right. Um, there's the exit, so I might want to go like this, 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 or maybe even like that, but I don't think there's enough time for that. So, I'll just go like this. Your sensors are picking up a distress call on an encrypted Federation channel. You eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter. Ace the Federation ship. Yeah, of course. You power up your weapons and engage the rebel ship. As I can see right now. Um, they have two guns. I think both laser guns. I hope. I hope there's no rockets. I do not have enough power to put up my defense, or unless I uh, disable my med bay, because I cannot. There's no. Uh, teleporter, so chances are rather small that, well, non existent, that they will enter my ship. Still, they can fire or stuff like that, can still damage my uh, my crew, so the med bay is not entirely uh, useless. But I'll just see what kind of weapons they have. If they have rockets, I might uh, disable my med bay and uh, put up my defense drone. But I don't think they do. So now we'll just wait and use the burst laser to disable the weapons and the Artemis to disable the drone. Great. So I don't have to, no, they, they, those are both laser weapons. Um, no, I'm not gonna use my uh, rockets. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I will. Right, there's that. With the, chi with the ship destroyed, you quickly collect the useful resources. Okay. I think we didn't think we there would be rebel ships all the way out here. They seem to be searching for something. Take some extra supplies as thanks for your aid. No problem. Now, I can upgrade my ship and have enough power to use my defense drone whenever it's needed. So there we go. Maybe I can still upgrade something else. I think blast doors wouldn't be a bad, bad idea because ah, oh now I'm now I'm yeah I'm stuck between these two. If I 
upgrade my uh, sensors, I can uh, aim for crew members and maybe kill the crew instead of killing, of destroying the ship. If I upgrade to blast doors, it yeah, it can keep the intruders out for a bit longer, and I might choke them to death with uh, when I open the air doors. So yeah. I think I'm going for this one for sensors. Right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, quest. After a quick search, you discover the hidden Federation space dock. They offer you some, some supplies in addition to fully repairing your ship. Alright. Oh, that was easy. Um, I'm not going to the store. I've been there. I'll just go over here, over here, over here, and then circle around and 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 visit as many locations as possible before getting to the exit and before the rebel fleet catches up, of course. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we will let you continue your way. Pay their toll, reject their offer. Yeah, fuck you too. Um, okay. No, no teleporter, that's good. They do have a drone, that's not as good. But... Too bad, you will regret this decision. No, you will probably, but doesn't matter. And I think this is a rocket launcher, so I am going to put up my defense drone. And apparently they have a defense drone as well, so it doesn't make sense for me to uh, target their ship with rockets until I have their drone down. So for the drone first. Now they don't have a drone anymore. And now I can go for the weapons with the rockets. Yes. NG is very handy with uh, repairing stuff. What the fuck? How, how quick with that did that go? But doesn't matter. But all right. So oh, that was that. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. All right. Um. We'll. They're not advancing as fast as I thought, so I can quite easily go here, go here, then go here, I think. We'll see. Music uh, in the background, by the way, is uh, Ripples of Nostalgia, a drum and bass mix by Mr. Suicide Sheep. I will link it in the description down below. Uh, it's on YouTube, so yeah, you can look it, look it up if you like. Um, yeah, over here. You jump into an unremarkable system. No life signs detected within scanning range. Alright. Oh, nothing at all then. Fine. Fine. Hmm. Should I pick up this trash call? Yeah, well, I have to anyway. Or I could go to the exit right now, but I think I have enough space to go at least to one or two extra locations. The stretch call signal is coming from a small space station orbiting in an uninhabited un planet. Sorry, Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. 
they're looking for help to fix or disable it. Destroy the defense system from a distance. Ah, crap. You fire a few volleys, but aren't able to penetrate the defense system's shields. Its weapons have no trouble piercing yours though, and you take minor damage before escaping. The station will need to find help elsewhere. Alright. There's one, one thing of the... yeah. Of this game that I don't like, it's, it's it's so random. It can be so random. You have no control over this. It's not not like you fucked up personally. You just took the risk, but have no way of influencing the outcome. You just you have to <laughs> uh, uh, like the game decides for you what happens, and the, the the lack of control in such a situation is well. Yeah, a bit frustrating, I guess. And I, I guess that makes this game hard. I've never completed it so far. Not really. I I think I've I've made it to the boss fight, to the end, to the latest last boss. I think it's the end of the galaxy. I've I've had all the um, star systems, and the last star system is completely overtaken by rebels. And then you have to make it to one big ship, which well, it could basically be three ships combined because it's so huge and has so many weapons. And, well, yeah. All right. Um. So I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stuck thinking where I would uh, save up my scrap. Or to uh, upgrade my ship, or wait until the next galaxy, or what is it, star system? I will do that. You've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Sector is the word I'm looking for. I call it star systems. I call it galaxies. The word is sector. Scanners are showing. Intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in databases. Ignore it. You ignore the readings and prepare to move on. Alright. This is really on the edge, but... Well... That means I probably uh, got the most out of this sector. I didn't just run for the exit. I tried to visit as many locations to... Well, upgrade your ship before you, the game gets hard. Choose the next sector, Engi controlled sector or uncharted nebula. I think I'm going for Engi and I hope to run into to some uh, Mantis uh, ships. Because apparently that's the way to unlock Mantis ship, a playable Mantis ship. You have arrived in Engi space. The fall of the Federation has brought Tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Alright. Now, ah, no nebulas whatsoever. Great. Maybe that means I'm ha I will have to fight next to the sun, but so far that's great, I think. A mantis ship is engaging a civilian. A mantis ship engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about this cockpit as he yells, stay out of this human, else you are next. Eight civilian ship. Oh crap, they do have a teleporter. Mm, I might be properly screwed now. You frown, power up the weapons and prepare to engage the mantis ship. Not today. So. I'm in deep shit now, I think. Relatively deep shit. Mm. I do not have drones anymore. Crap. Alright. I mean, even deeper shit. Um, they probably will enter my ship with two mantis 
and I only have two humans. The engine can't really fight. Well, he can, but only with half damage. Oh, it's not an engine, it's, it's a rock dude. That's a bit better, I suppose. I suppose. Oh, let's see what happens, and maybe we can choke him to death. What? Are they... No. They're not. Yeah, they're going over there. Hmm... Right, so what's... I could damage their uh, teleporter, but I think it's wise not to, because that usually means they're stuck on here, and I would like to return, let them return to their ship to be driven away, so uh, I can just destroy them with their ship, because these mantis are more dangerous on my ship than if they're just operating some system on their own ship. So I might go for their shield, but I think I'm going for their um, weapons and then their shield. Because as... No, maybe their weapons and their oxygen system. Because if... Uh, if I need all my manpower to uh, get these guys out of here, then they can so easily take down my ship because I have no dodge anymore and, well, you know, my shield doesn't recharge as fast. So I will go, I will go for their weapons first. Yeah. Why don't you attack him first? He was already damaged. Now, go for them. First laser over there. There you go. But they, those guys remain, I think. So I still have to take care of them. Mantis breaks apart. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. The ship you saved was badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Choo choo! Welcome aboard. The survivor gets on board of the ship. He's, she is called Rebecca. Um. Hmm. It's an engine, so she can repair very quickly. But I will see. I think she is going to be uh, the engine engine operator. The fuck, dude! Just attack hit this fish first.
right. There you go. Alright, so this guy was my gunner, I believe. Yeah. So I'll send him to the gunner station. Rebecca is going to be my engineer. Um, okay, and he's repairing shit, so. Greg was my pilot. Or was Stan my pilot? No, Stan was my shield port. No, 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 fix that, fix that. I better put the engi on this, but well, whatever. There you go. Now we are ready. Well, somewhat. Ah, store. Great. I need <laughs> to get some and um, fuel and drone parts. So uh, I was thinking of upgrading my ship, but now I think I really won't. An engine ship hails. Engine upgrades necessary for tra travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Alright, whatever. I have one of those, I think. Anti oh no, those are anti ship, so. It will continuously attack the, uh, the enemy ship. Well, yeah, whatever. Uh, the problem with that is that. Um, Although it's handy to have it, it can take down the enemy uh, shield. Because, well, when it, it has about the same speed of, of, uh, of firing as a shield recharges, so basically it, it, it takes down one shield constantly. Um, but you don't have any control over it, so. Yeah, it's nice for breaking shields, but it doesn't do anything else, so I, I prefer defense drones because it well, prevents missiles and put projectiles like uh, um, uh, asteroid brains and shit. Alright, we need those. Uh, missiles, mm, nah, I think I will survive with five missiles. Um, I th yeah, 15. It's not even like like I'm getting rid of this if I sell this. I, I was thinking of doing it because, well, I don't use it ever. Um, but then again, it might be useful until I have like a different drone that, that is just better. Anti-personal drone. Personal? Well, you know. The drone that attacks guys who enter my ship. That might be a bit better. But until then, I'm fine with my system repair. Right, 50, 50 scrap. So I can actually upgrade some stuff. Uh, I will upgrade my doors now. Um, I don't know what... To do, will I go for evasion? Basically, this means I have to uh, spend 50 before it actually does anything. So I will wait with my shield upgrade, I think. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with this one. Extra evasion. Right. Let's jump. You notice an engine col colony hiding under, the, hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment ca cache from the Federation Mantis War. And they suggest it might be 
used to lure the pursuing rebel fleet. A secure cache. You have engi the engine complete their excavations and bring the supplies on board. Alright, good. Right, now might be the time to get a move on. Pawn Broker has set up shop at an, this obscure be beacon. He might be offering something worth looking at. Seven fuel for one drone part? Sure. Now to visit the shop, and I can buy some drone parts. A message arrives. Your scrap hours are weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an engine trader looking for a trade. All right, fans. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see the point of that. I rarely use my FTL to get out of uh, fights I am losing. I sh maybe should do that more often, but uh, yeah, mm, I don't think it's worth it. I do have an extra defense drone which I can sell, so now I'm, yeah. Right. Hmm. Yeah, the, the rebels have a consistent pace of flight, so uh, I might, I cannot not lay spout and, and stick around. So I really have to move now. The NGI seem to have avoided this particular node, along with every other life form. Keep your eyes peeled for reasons why, but spin up the FTL without event. Alright. You receive a distress, uh, distress call from a nearby NGI ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Im imminent destruction. Respond to the call and move in to assist. You receive another message from this ship, this time with a mantis at the com log. Foolish meat sacks, he yells. The sensors indicate the ship is moving into attack and borders teleport from the station. What? Does that mean the mantis are on my ship right now? But they don't even have a teleporter. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this shit? Right, I'm going to evacuate him and basically open all these doors and just choke him to death. Oh crap. <laughs> Get out of there, son. Mm. First the weapons, or first the drone? First the drone. Yeah, crap. It doesn't work. Ooh. 
crap, I made a pretty terrible mistake. Hmm. Because... Okay, to the med bay, everybody. Leave this guy and this guy. Yes, exactly. I think I need the engine to go over there. Because otherwise it's not fixed fast enough. Yes, now get the fuck back. And don't die on the way. Pretty please. Alright, good. Good. So I made a pretty big mistake by uh, disabling, well, opening all the f opening all the air doors while they were able to uh, disable my oxygen system. But at least I, <laughs> I got them now. But it, but it was pretty close. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. All right. Now wait for the oxygen to return. Yeah, you are the shield guy. Right, there's no point in waiting for the oxygen when all the doors are still open. Herp derp. You are the engineer and you are the gunner. You repair this sensor. Alright, I think I'm good. Good to go. Yeah. I cannot take the risk of going here, but I can make maybe a little bend before instead of just going straight for the exit. The area looks clear and you prepare to jump off, but a mentor scout jumps behind you. They are as surprised as you are, but their weapons are already online. And they do have a teleporter, of course. And the... <laughs> the uh, attacker is called Felicity, which is funny because, well... No, never mind. Um, oh, you stay in there. Just, just fight him for, for a bit. Mm, first, go for the weapons. Um, this is going to be my last missile, I'm afraid, so...
Um, I really need the dodge right now, but... Stand the shoot guy, you are the gunner. Rebecca back to engineering. Maybe I can go for this guy himself and then uh, kill the crew instead of destroying the ship, but I think that won't work. Ship explodes, yeah, blah 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 blah. Um, what am I going to upgrade? Nothing, just yet. Uh, yeah, I can make this this turn and then go there, uh, over there and over there. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. You discover the remains of a ship embedded into the asteroids. It still has some functional missiles. Oh, sweet. I just ran out of missiles. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going over there. We arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic genetic distortion due to status sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Sure. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your co participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made of Stiff dough as well as some scrap. <laughs> Great, I thought now the only thing I get is, is cakes. You can keep your cakes. But thankfully there's still some scrap. Alright, now let's go for the exit. Because the rebels are catching up. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged you can jump to the next sector. Right. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay, for you, pay you for them. Well, I don't. I only have four. Ignore the station. Alright. I could perhaps go to the store and get back in time. Yeah, I might do that. The Enjai can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The Enjai Hive at this beacon are selling equipment just for that. Weapon pre-igniter. Weapons are made immediately available after an FTL jump. That is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. You can get the first shot off and disable their weapons while they still have to wait. Mm. I can't buy extra missiles then, but I can live with that, I think. And if, if it, oh sweet, sweet, sweet. If, um, if some Mantis ship is there, I can disable their, um, I can disable their teleporter and keep them from uh, entering my ship. This is great. I didn't know this piece existed, but these are pretty nice. And I have enough scrap for that, so I will take this, I think. Yes, yes I will. Now get back, and hopefully not be attacked by rebels. Yes, <laughs> I have. You've found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. 
you must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Sweet. This is the part where uh, FTL thing, you know, the, the, what is it called even? Mm. The FTL charger where, you know, your FTL drive gets charged quicker. In this case, it might be handy because there's a chance you might not, uh, you're just surviving this ship instead of destroying it. But maybe I'll, I'll just destroy it. Good luck with repairing that. Alright, this is going better than I expected, but I should be careful not to be super happy about it. Now what? Let's keep the pressure on. Oh, and I don't have missiles anymore, sweet. There you go. Now it only takes one shot. Because their shield is down. They have no way to win this. Uh, their end. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship, you must jump away before the cruisers get in firing range. Fuel 1. Hmm. Hmm. Next sector then. Choose the next sector, Uncharted Nebula or Mantis? Mantis. Mantis it is. You've entered the poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Alright, I do have enough fuel, but I don't have, like, mm, missiles. So I might have to do something about it, but... Yes, like, like I don't have any, any money even, but... Mm, Alright. I'll take the detour then. No, no. Who knows why the mantis would venture so close to the sun, to a sun? Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge? Sure. I guess. Alright, I, I forgot that I have my weapons already charged. Go. Yeah. Solar flare imminent. I hate this shit. You go over there, you go over there. Because this rock guy is immune to fire. What? Oh, my shields are down too now. 
Oh, fuck this. Oh, crap, I'm so screwed. Uh, right, I'm gonna put a shield in. More fire, sure. Whatever. Uh, mm, maybe you should help over there. Then we can lock down this whole back area and well, choke it out. Ship explosively. Uh, all right, but. All right, ship. The FCL drive is still charging. Right now, everybody to the med bay needs to go to the med bay, except for you uh, and and you, right? Uh, and open all the air vents. Now jump. Get the fuck out of there. You hear... You hear a grattling rattle and a soft clicking. You reach for your pistol. No, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's like four of them? Okay, I think um, that will be it for this episode. No, just kidding, but... Uh, it's quite likely I might not survive this. What the fuck game? Four mantis on my ship. Yeah. Go fix that. Did somebody die, by the way? I think so, right? Hmm. I lost track of it. So far so good, I suppose. And now they are fighting their way over there. They eventually have to come over here. So I guess just, I will just wait here. I cannot believe I survived this. But the pilot died, I think. Stannis shield ward. Yeah, the pilot died. Hmm. Didn't do too well, but 
whatever. But it's 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 moments like this when this game is so frustrating because there's no way I could have prevented the mantis from entering or maybe you know aimed at their heads or something. It's just a terrible yeah. There's there's no control over it. And that's the beauty and 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 the annoyance of this game. It's it's so so random. So I think I have to find a new pilot. And there's my phone ringing. Um, yeah, all right. Um, there's no real, yeah. Could go for Rebecca because she has not a lot of experience in engineering, so it's not entirely a waste. You are going for the gunner, and you are going for the shield. Right, I guess. I'm really curious on on how long I will survive. I don't think too long. I really need to get to a shop now and, and even then I don't have enough scrap to repair myself fully. I only have two, three crew members. I know that's, you know, that's what you start out with, but the, the f four crew members was, well, really nice. But, yeah. I think I'm going to cut it here because uh, otherwise the episodes get too long. Um, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.